I swear to God, I'm not lying. Uh, the most depressed moment of my life. I accepted Christ. Worst month of my life. Close, closest person in my life. My only friend was like this girl that I was dating. She fucking tries to knife on FaceTime her throat and cuts her leg. It's the worst breakup I've ever seen. And I'm like, whoa, dude. All the Red Pill guys message me. Drop her ass, bro. Drop her ass. And I was like, I hate Red Pill. They're literally not with God. All the Blue Pill liberals said, drop her. She's crazy. I was like, they're the exact same. They don't believe in God. Red Pill, Blue Pill. Immediately want to, went on a crusade called Every Red Pill. Are and it really muddied my relationships with the dating community guys that want to have me on. None of them would have me on. And I tried the Christ thing and I hated Jesus. Like I was punching walls in Texas all alone saying, I hate Jesus. This is the worst month of my life. What the Lost job. Uh, I mean, banned from Twitch, everything, no money, the worst things that happen all alone. And the first time as an adult, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm channeling and I'm going into a psychic re revelation state at my sleepiest phase. Cause I'm not, I'm not doing it in a wakeful state like these fucking Satanists. And I said, okay, let's use drugs. Let's drink. Got drunk as fuck. And I went into a meditative Bum state. Bucka. Didn't work for a couple of days. For, for some days I didn't sleep. I said, I need to know Christ is real. Let's go see these fucking demons and find out. Then, immediately, when I started hallucinating from no sleep, I said, okay, here it comes. And I started going, oh, there's nothing. The most beautiful daydream I ever had that bled into night. And I started sleeping on my beanbag. I wasn't fucking sitting, I was like laying down. And it was a dream. I knew I was awake, but eh, am I awake? The girlfriend, no, no blood on her, runs up and hugs me. The fucking green grass outside, and it's a fucking, it's like Utah, and there's sunlight, and I'm like, Jew, it's a fucking dream. You didn't cut yourself. Everyone on the internet saying, like, you're gonna kill yourself dating me, like the last one and the last one. Like, all these girls who fell in love with me. This is fucking great. Like, yeah, it's just a dream. Brother, the best dream I ever had, channeling. And then everyone there taken from me, but they left me. And the feeling was you can't go to them. They don't want you. So I felt very alone. Then it got dark. No God. The highest level of psychosis I've ever felt in my life. And I said, okay, I am drowning. The first ever uh, time I had a, what's that thing called? Sleep paralysis? Yeah. And I had no idea I was spiritual. I didn't know. channeling demons? No, I was more. That sounds like you're channeling demons. Well, it's not like I'm spellcasting or anything. I'm really just uh, self-harming uh, psychically. Not like with a self -harming knife. Self-harming psychically sounds like I hate myself. I hate myself. Yeah, I was going there. Whatever, whatever. And it wasn't like verbal. It was like for two days straight without a phone in a dark room. And yeah, it was just weird. But anyways, and I've done this before. I used to be an alcoholic. So this is normal to me. But I used to do it subconsciously. This one, I'm going in there. And in the deepest part of darkness, right? where you don't even want to commit suicide because you're like in a dream, you're stuck. My first sleep paralysis, and I'm like, fuck, I know I'm asleep, this is sleep paralysis. Wait, I don't believe in sleep paralysis. This is not just chemicals firing in my head. The love I have for my mom that I'm losing here in this dream, it's not just chemicals in my head, this is spirit. I'm in the spirit world. I swear to God, I'm not lying. At the deepest point, I said, do that fucking guy, do it. Fuck, let's test it, I'm here. Cause I need God, but what the fuck? I don't get God. I don't get these practices, the meditation. Let's test it. Christ is King. <gasps> oh, I woke up and I'm like, holy fuck, it worked. Holy fuck, that spell worked. The, the one thing that snapped me out of it. What if I didn't say that? And I only went to the dream state, the darkest state of my li life, just to do that. And I swear to God, I'm not lying. Then nothing, no love for Christ, didn't care for Christ, didn't come to God nothing just bursted out as an adult crying for like one hour you're doing that jake paul ritual that you were criticizing mike for no his was a breathing ritual mine was a self-harm ritual with alcohol where you really get trashed and How, that meditate. sounds worse yeah probably but <laughs> the, the, the point is i'm not channeling demons i just wanted to go deep into that darkness and yo nothing happened for the next couple of weeks and adam calls me on the show and shit and this then I, and, and yeah, this is fucking recent. The worst month of my life. And I still hate, I still don't believe in God for some reason, even though it worked. You don't believe in God? No, no, at the time. But I said to myself, wait, dreams are wish fulfillment from Freud. 
I don't believe in chemicals in my brains causing dreams like sneak on and Andrew Tate and these. Wait a minute, that is spirit. So let me understand this. If Christ is king, worked, and Carl Jung said if a symbol affects billions of lives, the symbol's real, because it's on all of our mental psyche, right? I said to myself, oh, fuck, I'm a Christian. And then I said, I hate them. Turn the other cheek, they're all, they're all I don't like this. And then I started reading about, bro, I was reading for weeks, and Destiny kept saying, aren't you worried that you're banned on Twitch? You're not doing anything for this ban. I don't give a fuck, bro, I'm with God, right? Let me fucking drown in debt if I have to. Fuck it, I'm with God, right? But I said to Destiny, I don't care. And I was like very nonchalant, and everyone, family, friends, what are you doing? You're not working here. You don't have a girlfriend, you don't have friends. Whatever, I don't care, I don't care. I'll figure it out. I'm a nomad, just kick it to LA. Literally found out all depictions of Jesus were masculine and it's a psyop that he's feminine and they're all buried throughout history found out everyone on earth was a Christian and that was the default religion before all the new ones I go so deep into Christianity and my dream finally makes sense and I never saw Christ in the dream I saw uh, more of like uh, really just the word Christ is king and then I'm like right on Twitter and I started my crusade immediately viral money five hundred dollar consultations right now for one hour with me literally viral everywhere friends all around me heal mike love family are proud of me and i'm like what the fuck and then i said this has to be the work of demons say the did it and see if you get canceled the fucking didn't get canceled exploded even more viral and i'm like i'm telling you the truth and i'm rich and fucking famous and that's when you, when you can tell the truth and be rich and famous, you know you're not working with a demon. That's the ultimate test, right? And I'm like, okay, tell it on YouTube. Tell it this. And I was always like afraid that Nick Fuentes was a psyop and stuff. I'm like, that's the kid who red-pilled me the most. Let's fucking go on his crusade. I know his chat's going to call me a degenerate. Fuck those little f They all, 99% of them loved me. Fucking NFT crypto guys throwing money at me left and right. And then, hmm, I need to, uh, I need to do a PSYOP and get Myron to call me. And I did some stuff and Myron calls me. Myron, what the fuck, you fucking pussy? We start arguing on the phone. Then we're cool on the phone. Let's get on the show. Immediately, I said, I'm walking with God. I can't stop smiling. I bet this smile is going to translate into high-level comedy. Maybe I can do 80% comedy on the show. Literally sat down and looked at Myron fresh. And I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm 29. I'm late. Let's change my life. 28 million hits on TikTok from 800. The most... Andrew Tate was there a year and nobody knew who he was. 72,000 new followers gained in one appearance. The most viral fucking appearance ever. It's not like fucking the Nelk Boys could sit down and fucking pop off there just from talking. And then I realized, holy fuck, my whole life, all my friends and family told me the stuff I study, Masonic literature and the Bible and everything like that is useless. It's not making money. It all started, God starts pouring through me, through the Holy Spirit, starts bleeding into my content. Now, you know what, in the number one comment I get with 2,000 upvotes? Dude, he has a master over comedy, conspiracy, romance, dating, fu he, he's funny, he's good looking. This is the ultimate creator. This is the greatest influencer. He tells the truth and he says, it's the fucking literally the number one influencer to actually go through the portal of entertainment with a bunch of money big deals and contracts documentaries but tell, but Jay and not getting banned and so literally i'm the first person on the internet to be this blessed and i turned to my head and i said andrew tate's a f like that's what happens when you have christ what the fuck did that guy do some only fans management and then he bought his fucking marketing like i'm literally i didn't buy no marketing i was just walk with christ and, and I'm telling you, if this was a Dragon Ball battle, I'd be holding Andrew Tate's punch with one finger. That's how viral I am. Okay. But, and now look at this. David Dobrik's, <laughs> David Dobrik's management team reached out to me, said, hey, we want to do a $7,000 process marketing you through a million accounts. We have this monopoly on the system software we made. 7,000 a week. And I said, no, I'm too famous. I don't do that shit. I'll do it myself. They said, we're doing it for free. You're going to remember us. I said, what? 600,000 viewer clip. They already got me. The next one was 2 million. And they said, hey, this week, you're about to see the compounding effect. You're going to see that in a lower level, like Andrew Tate. And they said, remember, you're a comedian. Never get banned. Don't be like Tate. Start Eight big YouTubers are moving to Miami just to work with me. So they're like, I'm going to have one day with Sneeko, one day with this guy. 
and everyone's cross-pollinating viewership with me. You telling me Christ is not real? Fuck out of here. Thank you for the time.